Okay, so we're wrapped around, the, the amp meter is on the common of the compressor again, and we're going to start the compressor and see the, a, the actual inrush amperage on the, uh, on the compressor while the, start, the uh, compressor saver is installed. So here we go. Observe. Now it's running and it locked in 24.9 amps for the start up there. We have reduced the amperage from 43, 49.3 to 24.9. So that's almost 50% of, of a reduction in inrush amperage. And remember, uh, any, any meter that reads the demand is going to see this effect and it'll save money for a commercial application also. Okay. And Andy, why is it important for the contractor to show those values to the homeowner? Actually, uh, what it does is, number one, gives the, the homeowner confidence in the product, but it also gives them confidence in you as a technician because they see that you understand the technology well enough to explain it to the customer and let them see that you're high tech with your instruments and things of that nature that you're using. Great. Okay. Let me talk to you a little bit about the backside of our package. Our package has in it the schematics that are drawn for both a dual capacitor and a single capacitor. And so you have the schematics right there on the package that shows you how to wire it up. You'll usually have a schematic on the unit that'll have it built into, the, into their system as an accessory to the system. Don't forget now that these could be ordered at the factory with the unit, but most of the time it isn't. So it's something that you can aftermarket and, and do well with in your aftermarket process. Like I said, on this particular unit, you could put on an aftermarket disconnect also because this doesn't have one. We have a man stationed inside to disconnect the power for me while I'm doing this demonstration. We're going to place this capacitor and relay inside this box and there's places here that will allow that to happen. And I'll mount the relay first and in the package is the screws for such as that. Thank you Brian. They come with the package and there's also a band, tie wrap band that will wrap around the capacitor. We're going to place this in here and we're going to attach it to the power, to the box itself. Now it needs to be mounted in a way that none of the electrical connections are going to be a problem for any of the other connections. Make sure that, that it is safe in its installation. Andy, while you're mounting that, is there anything that you should not do um, with respect to mounting either the capacitor or the potential relay? Sometimes the technician will open up the insides and there's really not a lot of room in there and they're trying to make do. And if there's one or two things that we absolutely should not do, uh, what are those things? Well, you, you definitely need to make sure that these terminals here are not going to be touching in, even near any of the box because that's a ground and they can have current flowing through them that will short out. That's one concern. Uh, the neat thing about this installation is that this relay is non-positional. There is no up and down on it. Now, I'm going to cut this, the remainder off of here that I don't need.
and that's installed. Now, notice that <coughs> if you have power drills, it's even much quicker. And that's installed. Now we can put the panels back on and it'll be sufficient. I'm going to test this uh, compressor saver to make sure that the relay is doing its job. And I have clamped around the wire leaving the start capacitor. And I want to uh, notice that the amperage is going to go up and come back to zero. And that lets me know that my capacitor came in and went out. The capacitor current is helping the compressor under those conditions. So I always want to do that before I leave. And if our power is on, we'll get that reading. Yeah, jump okay. to 4.6, then back down to zero. That's correct. And what that does is lets me know that the current from that capacitor is helping the start winding of the compressor. That's what that uh, is indicating. And it open, opened up. So the capacitor comes out of operation once the compressor's running. And so that, that uh, shows that it's operating. Well, if done properly, uh, it only takes about 15 minutes to install, even doing the test, the before and after, and the Correct. Uh, capacitor test at the end, making sure that uh, the, the potential relay is operating correctly. But for the value in providing those tests, it takes no more than a few extra se uh, Just seconds. Just a few seconds. It is it's so valuable um, to the homeowner and to your business. Absolutely. All right, well, I think all, all that's left is to put the panel back on. And I think that's a wrap. Okay. Contractors, we hope you found this video educational. 521 Compressor Saver is a quality product and has been the industry standard for the past 70 years. The 521 Compressor Saver is an essential component to any air conditioning system. By using the 521 and showing the homeowner both before and after readings, customers will have more confidence in their purchase, more overall confidence in your technical ability, and will be more interested in annual service agreements and other products that will help them save energy and prolong equipment life. If you have any questions or would like more information about our great training seminars, please give us a call or complete the web form located next to the video. Thank you again and have a great day.